Hi everyone, this is Brad with Vent Tech, and you're watching The Frat with Brad. Here we're there from Midwestern Healthcare, and one of the things we wanted to talk about was cow handle. Uh, we all know what a precious resource these animals are. We want to keep them as safe and calm as we can, so Aaron's going to give us just a few tips that he has. A couple of the main things is setting up a smooth cow flow. Uh, you want something that's not going to put roadblocks for the cow, something easy for them. They like to follow alongside of a wall. It gives them the safety. Uh, they have a blind spot in the front, right in front of them, as their eyes are on the side of their head, so there is a blind spot. So we give them a funnel. All they see is gates, and they don't see a little hole right in front of them. So they, it really works better if they have something to walk alongside, so that they can feel that security there. Cows are a prey animal, so they are going to flight and face, one-on-one, -on -one, face to face. So you walk right past the cow pretty comfortably if you turn away from them. You don't present yourself as a threat. Uh, try to walk smoothly, calmer you keep them. Well, what, one of the things I was going to ask you is, uh, I noticed I watch you and the way you handle cows for the past few years, and I've never seen you in the past few years really, literally, maybe before you get into it. What's the art to that? How do you get them to see what they want to do shoot, travel with them, and out on it's, it's The setup helps a lot, and every farm is different. Uh, everywhere we go, we have different. Uh, spaces to work with, but trying to keep the cow moving along the side, and, uh, and as you said before, they're a precious resource to us. Everything that anybody in the dairy industry has is from cows, uh, so treat them like that, treat them with that respect, and keeping the group calm is huge. Also, uh, I watch the cows in their body language, and I try to take the one that looks like she's going to go I have a one that's a little wilder. I will try to avoid eye contact with her. Try to avoid getting her out of the group until she's left. Um, it really helps with the wild one way to her last. They don't want to be alone anymore. They don't to go in. But they tend to not want to leave the group. So I'm to take the easier ones. Watch the body language. I can tell who's been that for it. Sure. How to tell who's going to cooperate. And you do have to be careful because they're actually very fast. Yeah, oh, they're very fast. Well, thanks, Aaron. Appreciate it.